COVID is gone, bro. Uh. Now it's bed bugs. <laughs> I want to talk about male prostitution. The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin. Calvin always late. All right, this is the mics are open. My name is G-Money. I'm telling your kids. Ashley. <laughs> no, Calvin. Now, can, I just say, can I say one thing here. from the jump, right? Yeah. Mm. As you can see, I'm wearing socks today. Like, I'm not wearing shoes. And do you know why I'm wearing socks today? Tell us. Because I'm feeling too much pressure from you guys. <laughs> like, every single week in the comments, mm. yo, your shoe game is <laughs> fire. <laughs> your shoe game is this. Your shoe game is that. I, I, I looked at the, all the shoes available to me in the club, mm. cupboard today, and I was like... <laughs> yeah. I, I got some. I got some. Yeah, yeah. For I got me, some, yeah. So. Size, yeah, I got some. Yeah. Uh, for, do you ever wear are those? We wear the same size? size. Remember what you bought me last time? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. those were ugly, though. Those are in vogue, bro. The white ones. <laughs> The Pumas. Yeah. Those were ugly, bro. bro. They're in vogue now. <laughs> they're in vogue now, fam. <laughs> like, they were ugly then. I was, I was at Food Asylum and I'm just looking at some of this. I'm like, nah, nah, mm. nah. Mm. Then you're just like, bro, these kids nowadays are wearing... But let's, mm. let's talk about fashion real quick. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to go back into that whole fucking baggy jeans? Baggy shit did and we speak flares? about it? We did actually speak about Fuck it. Fuck those baggy jeans. <laughs> I'm seeing, yo, I'm seeing guys wearing baggy jeans that don't even have hems at the bottom. Men in mommy What's jeans. What's up with that shit? <laughs> Fam, fashion is funny to me, bro. Oh, like, bro, Lil Wayne said it. What's that? No, Jay-Z said, I don't wear skinny jeans because my nuts can't fit. Yeah. And then a couple of albums later, <laughs> skinny, skinny jeans. jeans. Fact. Now what do we for real? So what's good, guys? How are you guys hold doing? Hold up, man? hold up. Are you going to get a pair of, of thingy, baggy jeans? No, 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 no. This is... You know me, I'm a cargo pants guy. No, but but think about Baggy it. Baggy child, like me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, like a really fire pair. Well, it depends. With, with, with no hem at the bottom. When you sit down back in the gym, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> if, my change. If I hit my goals and I feel sexy, mm. who, who knows? You, so Ashley's already rocking them, them whatever. I've been seeing you in your, oh, yeah, yeah. In your big jeans era. Mad. Tonio? Um, for me, honestly speaking, I don't really care. If I look nice, uh, I'll take anything. As a matter on, of fact, me and Atafuta, I'm looking for someone who will actually dress me. Uh, I'm tired stylist. of dressing me. Uh, I know. Like, man. I'm looking for a stylist, and then I'll give mm. you conditions, you mm. know, and then I'll mm. tell you places to buy the clothes. So. What are the conditions? Uh, conditions. Bro, speaking about conditions, <laughs> uh, we had a guest this morning uh, on the show. Bro, man, clean said fucking life on air. Like, really? Uh, oh, no. This what do you mean? Hey. So he, he's a gym instructor. Oh. So we asked him, what was the wildest thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> this guy is telling us his stories. He's like, yeah, so she said to me that, um, you know, um, that she wanted me to leave my job and do this, this, this. And then she said, no. You can just be fucking me. I'm like, no! Hey. Yo! I'm like, hey, hey, by the way, if anybody's offended by that, then, you know, at one time, you know the clear, radio station. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But it came from nowhere. And I'm like, you didn't see that no coming. No one saw that coming. <laughs> so, so, you know, obviously on radio, you're supposed to like, bah! Apologize immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, fam, they just gave us the hacker trace, fam. What's that? You got the big red button? We got the big red button oh, thing. Oh, nice. They brought it in last week, right? Yeah. But you know, so I tell you, but you know, all right, let me not say why. <laughs> okay. But, but so from, 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 from people who don't for, know, for right? people who don't know, like so, in radio, there's supposed to be a delayed broadcast. Yeah. So it should be delayed by 15 or 20 Tw seconds or 30 mm, seconds mm. so that if anything libelous yes. or... Um, whatever goes out, you can press this big red button in the studio and then it will cut it from the actual broadcast which goes out. Yep. Yeah. So there was one at Galana. There was, there was, no, there was never one at Galana, but there was one at Radio Africa. Mm. Oh, when and we came one, in? Yeah, and they just put it back in there now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly they need it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, actually, you know but. what? Them guys just, were doing a lot. Of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like, yo, I was going to say, this is like when you go to one of those residential area bars yeah. and the volume's down low. <laughs> for a while. Was, uh, the, the volume's down low for a while. while for man's a while. Doing laps. They were doing laps, that's why. Yeah. So it was put in, I was like, ha, ha, ha. But it's really dope. So like if anyone says, fuck, mm, yeah. so you just press the button, it won't go out. Mm. But yeah. does it work? But, but how that's does it question. work though? Like, Cause you're, cause does you're, it cut like how does it cut really? So you see, 
there's already like the guy said fuck mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. there's already a 15 to 20 mm-hmm. second delay yeah. or oh, there yeah. should be or oh, there should be right yeah. depends guys will set them differently uh-huh. so had G pressed the button mm-hmm. now it would have it just would have blanked out. So blanked. That's, that's five seconds later G pressing the button yeah, yeah. and then what uh-huh. would happen so, is so it's instant because this guy said you know as a radio presenter some yeah. of these ones are triggers yeah. someone yeah. says fuck Yay! Yeah, when you hit it now, it fires like a ident that's like 20 seconds long. Yeah. Oh. So by the time now it goes out, it's dead in the whatever. Yeah. The yeah. No one hears. Whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. But you know, that reminds me of, um, um, so at, at the BBC, um, they have this thing where if there's dead air for like 30 seconds, the, it electronically kicks into music. Because mm. mm. it assumes that, it assumes that Systems something's dead. happened to the mm-hmm. studio. So back in the day, it used to be called the emergency dat, but now it's digital. I don't know what it's called. Fam, there's some presenters, Ace and Viz, they always used to run jokes like 27, 20, then they'd say something, <laughs> hey, one day they triggered that shit. And the station just went off the air and it goes over to like a pre-recorded program. Oh, shit. oh wow. <laughs> man. Uh, broadcasting, man, the pitfalls. It's Wild. Yeah, broadcasting. That's, that's why we're here. Well, how, uh, you guys, how you guys doing, man? In terms of what, like radio? No, like just generally. Like, I wasn't here last week. Oh, last, last week. I, what last happened? I had the shit. Oh bro. shit! Oh yeah, you, you did. You couldn't contain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, let me tell you. So, 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 I also had backache because of the gym, but I had, I had the more serious shits. I've never had those for what a while. What did you eat? So you didn't I'm, even gig this weekend because of that last shit. weekend. Yeah. I didn't go, bro. Don't want to get too too um, <laughs> technical here, mm. but you know there's the shits that you can control, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, and the shits that when you fart is like, oops. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, I, I had the okay. pro max, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I had pro max shit, like, shit. And the thing about it is, it's like you know, usually the right this thing played games with me, bro. It was like so. This was uh, Tuesday. It started Wednesday. You know, the emodium, this that mm. Wednesday. Boom, I'm ready to go back to work tomorrow. Thursday morning is like, you ain't going nowhere. Oh, wow. no. Fam, like... You had those shits for like four days. Imagine. You know, you start hey. to worry because I'm thinking yeah. there's color out there yeah. and all of these things. <laughs> but yeah, but, but I'm good. Bro, and you know, Imodium is just... Uh, Imodium is like, you know... A stop gap. Bro, it, yeah. it, it, you know, I keep telling guys, Imodium is just... Uh, Imodium is like... I don't know how how well you guys know about cars. You know, if your car doesn't have brake fluid, mm. you, can, you can actually put Omo and mix it. And, Is it? Yeah. Or if it doesn't have um, coolant, you can put water. Exactly. Mm. So stop the, those kind of things. So Imodium is that. Quick mm. fix. But when that shit... Some as a t- yeah, brakes. You know how, and, and you know brakes is the best uh, analogy uh, for uh, this. Yeah. You know brakes are supposed to do mm. uh, mm. Yeah. If they're doing mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, like the thing is, it's like the interesting thing is not interesting is that without you guys even clocking yourselves, we actually know our bodies. Yeah. It's like you know, mm-hmm. you know. So me, I can know when. Something's just not right. You yeah, get me? Yeah. And I knew that this was not a emodium. I could still go on road story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a, you keep your ass in the, in the house. house. In the house. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Trust me, man. But yeah, so, so that was, that was but, last but week. But you know, man, that would be crazy. Like you're in the loo. Fam, you know me, I keep my loo decked up. Eh? Mm. Like yesterday morning, I remember I, I didn't have loo tissue in the like the cupboard next to the whatever mm-hmm. so imagine you got the runs and you've gone through that one row mm. and you know it's the runs that you're even sweating yeah. 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 <laughs> and you're in the house you're just like yeah like i remember when i got my third job for covid mm. uh, yeah mm. uh was it Astra, the third one Astra. yeah you were, that one hit you bad that one hit me bad but you know i'm mm. to blame right mm. so the day i got my job right i knew i was like ah i'm on leave mm. i'm chilling i've got because i got it on a wednesday Right? Mm, was yeah. it Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. Yeah. So I knew I'm on leave because I was going to SA Monday. Mm. So me, I'm like, pa, you know, mm. SA had it very bad. Mm. So I get my job, I'm ready. Mm. So I tell my boy, ah, we can have a couple of drinks. Hey. Oh. Uh, one, two, white cup, three. Mm. Yo, that shit hit me in the middle of the night. Mm. I've never puked mm. one and two at the same time. I don't know. I don't think mm. I'd ever take a booster shot. Like. You didn't take I one? I didn't. You? I had two. You who was in hospital? <laughs> Me who was what in hospital? What the <laughs> fuck? Really? <laughs> no, nah, man. You're out in this class, bro. God damn. <laughs> Come on, man. Take a shit. <laughs> no, that yeah, was wow. like, that, that was then, though. <laughs> bro. But remember, I got it again after, but it was just mild. 
You got COVID again? Twice. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, bro. Really? Twice. Yeah. Yeah. You tested positive for COVID twice. twice. More than even STS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say well. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you see, like, um, the second time, uh. was, it pissed me off, man. Right in the middle of December. Oh. And this is when, like, me and Grouchy mm. are Busy. Yeah. Busy. Oh yes, I Busy. remember. I remember I took I, I I was like, you know what, let me do the responsible thing. I'm not gonna do these gigs. Mm. Kumbe other DJs were out there with COVID. <laughs> yeah. Just getting the money in December. Yeah. And there's me being responsible. This December for if I got COVID again, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Advance, you know, they, know. Say, they say, they say, um, you know, if you get rich, I won't tell anyone, but there'll be signs, there'll be signs, mm. there'll nah, be signs man. for sure. <laughs> but you know, what? speaking about COVID, I was speaking to um, um, Doc during the week and we were having a conversation, and he said something that was really profound. And he said, Fam, I can't believe that we went through COVID, yeah, like if you look at Nairobi now mm. or the world now, yeah, like it's unbelievable that we. We shut down. It's like, it seems like it was so far away mm. and it didn't happen. You Fam, know, we've, we've got more wars post-COVID than we've had. Like, <laughs> the man never bored. The man like, let's finish COVID. Let's end the world a different way. You yeah. know, here's the thing. AD, shout going out to DJ AD. He was here from, uh, he was passing through SA, uh, from SA. So it's like, uh, he was in a big group. Mm. Let me pull up. He was showing me photos of um, 2020. Accra, June, mm. they were outside, outside. They were outside, outside. Bro, they even had Afro Nation that year. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ever forget. Mm. Bro, those guys were outside, outside. Ghana, Ghana was outside. Outside. Nigeria were outside, outside. Mm. So he was, we were talking about it. And one of the other guys was also like a military guy on the table from Australia. And the guy was like, you know, most of also the economic downturn that we have right now in Ghana it, no, no, globally, no, no, no. It globally mm. has to also do with COVID there was mm. a lot of loss of jobs mm. guys didn't work what 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 but had we sat it out mm. and actually grinded we wouldn't be in as bad situation as we are yeah. now but that's, that, but that's not necessarily true because mm. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana was out, out and their economy has tanked mm. yes it's tanked but I'm saying globally globally because right? here's the thing uh are you really going to tell me, G, the population of Kenya? You want to tell me what is the, uh, in terms of vaccination? Mm. Do you think we've gotten to the targets that we had? You. Do you think we've gotten to 20, 20 million people vaccinated? I, I think mm. we did. No. No? No, we no. didn't. So. 10, maybe. Or mm. even 10 uh, would be far-fetched. But they were even saying, they were giving you the numbers, didn't it? Yeah, right. but mm. fam... Ever since then, you know what's actually crazy? Remember how you go out when you're traveling out of the country? No one's asking you for your vaccination Anymore. certificate. No, yeah, True. that's done. Yeah, no one, when you're coming back in, that thing they used to feel, you're, they're not tracking mm -hmm. you. So my point is this, if we did it and we've got a huge population of people mm. who are not, who probably are getting it mm. as compared, and I say this with respect because there's a lot of people who lost their lives. Right. Right? Mm. During COVID. But... Mm. You think the world would be a better would be better off if we hadn't locked Not down? Not necessarily, but in terms of the economy, economy. yeah. Because mm -hmm. at that point, honestly, businesses, of course, went down. Yeah. yeah. But then it also affected some businesses, like um, when you see the commercial sex workers, mm. bro. Curfew is seven p.m. Yeah. Mm. So job in Abidi and Zemapema. Bro, so at four p.m. They're out. Yeah. yeah. They're mm. like Mchana in broad daylight, mm. and I'm like, hey, yeah, like. I think the show must go on. Yeah, the show must yeah. go exactly. on. Man. Like, but also a lot of businesses sprung up during COVID as well. So a lot. that's a lot of. I what I what I hate in retrospect is the fact that so many big companies have gone back to offices. To, um, offices like like I worked from home eight one day months. this week, right? Mm. No, we, we did for eight months. Mm. <clears throat> but I work I I worked from home this week. Why is my program controller asking the snitches in the office? Did you <laughs> did you come to the office? Like why why? Not the snitches. Why why why? <laughs> we delivered the show. I just happened mm. to be at home. Yeah, fine. I think to myself like, bro, we did. Do you remember like how there's a, there's a day I went to the office during COVID, mm. and guys were like, well, maybe if you showed up here more. I was mm. like, hey, what is this? Is it? <laughs> yeah. So it's one of those ones. I just think that with the good things of like. You know, teams meeting as opposed to physical meetings. Mm. 
Like, we don't need to sit around the table in the office anymore. Like, we don't need to do that. Like, Facts. we don't need, like, if guys were able to work from home, why are you forcing guys back to the office now? But I've realized it's more of the old school guys who are still so hell bent on doing physical meetings mm. and getting people back in the offices. Like, you won't see this, like, new gen offices or corporates mm. actually making people go into the office to have a meeting mm. we can make we can talk to each other on call you mm. know just switch on your camera if you want to see facial expressions right. sometimes i may just have missed you oh we're like yo Same. ash man <laughs> <laughs> fun, man, man fucking from home fuck it but Come but 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 even, but like <laughs> last week i was listening to some old school old editions of the mics are open mm. and we were working from home you were in your house and he was in house i was in my house mm. right those, ep- those episodes were fire, but bro. But you know yeah. what? I, I feel like we still have to really put it out. You and I were pretty privileged, man. All of them other niggas went into the studio That's for eight true. months. That's true. Ashley was our producer, no, by but the way. I was sorry. in office every was day. Sorry. Yeah, but <laughs> that's not our problem. Thank you. That's not, like, <laughs> they, they had it in Japan. I know, but the no. thing is, the good thing was, like, after the show, I would be like, are you good, Andy? Do you need anything? Everything's prepared. Bye. I'm but out the of thing office by, by like also, 10.30. I was telling, I was telling Kibs that d- d- even before COVID, we we only went to the office on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and, and Thursdays. Thursdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Monday and Friday we didn't go to the Yo, office. Me, me, for, for me, for me, for me, I was just like, so G's like, yeah, I'm gonna work from home through this whole period. I was like, this motherfucker. So me wake up, drive from Rock all the way to Bloody, <laughs> up, up here. Yeah. Hell no. I checked Incredible Sound. <laughs> got got his mixer to, to, to everything. Uh, yeah. I was like, pop instant. Never looked back. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Like he wasn't. He wasn't like he. Well, he wasn't here. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he was in his house. I was in my house. Yeah, yeah. Pop, that was the thing. But you know, um, off of off of that whole COVID thing, there's you know the new thing is uh, COVID is gone, bro. Uh, now it's bed bugs. <laughs> oh, <Yo>. oh fuck! <laughs> oh. Firstly, have you seen have you those videos? Bed bugs. No, have you seen <laughs> the videos? Of of bed mm. saying we we but can't be wait, you took off you took off your glasses like what go on fuck you know of me I've been through a bed bug infestation Ew. you have I'm talking about motherfucking experience I've nigga. never yo wait hold, 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on is this like since you left home yeah really bro wait 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 have you ever been through one in your house no shit. oh my god you school. Yo, you? this is like not at home. School, but yeah, yeah school. Never in my life. Mm. Yeah, went through one. I think must have been like 17, 18. Uh. Bro, I, one motherfucker. I don't know where they came from. Mm. Bro, they're just sexing up the whole goddamn place. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you know that they just you know that they just need to play that X song. Let me multiply ten, 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 ten. You know when I lived here, there's a time when my neighbor said to me, "Hey." I found a bed bug. Remember, I was paranoid, bro. I destroyed this whole house, (laughs) bro. I was like, no. I called the fumigators, man. Bed bugs are better than fumigators. They be at the corner, at the mattress, at the corner, lounging. Mm. They're just dying. Let me tell you. Bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. uh, I've never forgotten. And you know on the bed, if your bed is wooden, they like the corners as well, right? Mm-hmm. So they will go by the corner. So that means they're sexing. Me, I can't sex. Because are you going to have a babe this is like, ah, don't bite me. <laughs> Yo, that shit is embarrassing, bro. Family. So I call a fumigator. The guy mm. must have charged me like seven grand or something. He told me for, he came in on a Saturday, told me you could probably stay at the crib or maybe like a Monday or something. It's stunk, but they were dead, 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 dead. Did you find them like on the floor? Like yeah, legs up. When you um, fumigate, that's what happens. You just find them dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all over the place. Then you you get like you know cleaner. Yeah, and you're good. And then you have to go for again because it's like fam eggs. Yeah, like I I just know I, I and I said this but like for clear. Yeah, if if that God forbid it ever happens, I'm actually moving out of the house. Same. But for me, you for leave sure, the house. For leave me, for sure, because I'm I'm not a dirty person by the way. Mm. But it's funny someone mentioned this. Bed to bugs me. don't like dirty houses. That's the thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone Lights. mentioned it to me. I was like, okay, that's yeah. interesting. So it must have like come from somewhere. You know, you can get a bed bag anywhere. Mm. Anywhere, bro. Anywhere. Mm. Yeah. A matatu, but, but that's uh, the most interesting thing. That's so scary. They don't like cle- dirty places. Bro, bro you see in the in London right now. Mm. One of my way. friends sent me a message. They were like, thank God you left before. Bro. It was in a tube. Someone was like, why are you watching it? <laughs> Smash it. And from Paris? Have you seen those videos from Paris? Paris is crazy. Yo, have oh. you seen those videos? So again, Ooh. here's the question. 
the four horsemen war disease <laughs> pestilence <laughs> and famine are we there it's time it's time we're about to hear trumpets and shit like yeah, i'm telling you like there's the trumpets are next fam. it's next because yeah. those Angels bed bugs ascending, those descending. bed bugs in paris the videos are wild yo I there's know, so like, many were you guys watching them tiktok or something or what? tiktok, mm. TikTok yeah. Yeah. bro that's some i would bro oh my but god then i'm not the ready comedy for ones it. like mm. oh so hard motherfuckers get fired here bed bugs in paris <laughs> yo but, those shit so funny, funny enough, like everybody's in Paris right now. Those mm. Paris Fashion Week, right? Mm. So like all the celebrities rugby. are there. There's supposed to be Olympic. There's rugby as rugby. well. Mm. Like everyone is in Paris. So everybody's going back to the countries with bed bugs. And, that, and that's a crazy thing. Like even for anybody who's visiting me, mm. who's coming from Europe, I'm like, yo, listen, when you get to the airport, wrap your suitcase in that plastic thing. You know, they have these machines. Yeah. Yeah. That wrap, wrap your suitcase in that plastic shit. So and that, just know when you get to the house, by the way, you know we have the gym downstairs. Mm-hmm. Mm. You are going to change your clothes <laughs> downstairs. There's a shower downstairs in the gym. You're going to shower downstairs <laughs> in the gym. And then the clothes that you flew in, we shall put in like a sealed plastic bag. We'll bring them upstairs, put them directly into the washing machine <laughs> yeah. and put them on dry. You know, because mm. the heat kills bugs. Yep. Yeah. Mm. yeah, bro. I am not playing. I'm serious. And you got a lot of them coming down December. Imagine, like, no. yeah, oh, yeah. I was no. there advance. I was told, tell him we're coming. Be oh, ready. You were told by. That's, yeah. that's another story. <laughs> that one's another story. Oh, you got you got a December and you got yes. it done. I've got. No, no, you remind yourself. Calvin knows my, my holiday schedule more than I do. <laughs> but yeah, that, that big back story. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I took it off the mic. God yeah, damn. yeah, yeah. That bed bug story is crazy, bro. Like, oh, it's so nasty. I just feel like we need to, to issue travel advisories. They do. Like the same way in which how the same way in travel which travel advisories. Well, guys talk about how like oh, don't go to Kenya because there's terrorism. Mm. Don't when go they, to Paris and we we need, London. Yeah. But you guys don't have no audacity. You guys can't issue an, uh, a, a warrant against uh, what's his France. name? France. France. Yeah, don't come to Kenya because. But, but, you know, funny enough that we're talking about that, right? Mm. I saw, and I don't know whether this is a fake document, right? Mm. Uh, uh, I don't know whether this is a f- f- fake document. The the Is the governor of Homer Bay, Gladys Wanga? Mm. The one about issuing the thing about Israel? Yeah. I don't know if it's a fake document, but I was wondering why would a governor issue a document? Yeah. What? Because mm. I was like, mm. Allah? Yeah, man, but that Israel story, bro. It's yeah, like, it's so sad. I, I got into it with my family group. So, you know, I'm a Christian. My family, they're all very Christian. Mm. And it's interesting to say this, and I say this respectfully. Uh, Muslim and brothers, Muslim sisters and brothers, I'm seeing them post about Palestine and they're like, pray, pray, mm. pray. Mm. Christians, pray for. What? Israel. Israel. Mm. You get. Okay. And I'm just like, okay. But f- what, what I hate about that struggle is a obviously the historical context, which yes. is mm. just which means we're technically never gonna have a, a solution. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that aside, it's like I hate the fact that the world looks at it as Israeli and Palestinian. And not as human. Mm. That's the thing. Mm. You get me? Because mm. the women and the children and the men, the guys who are the innocent civilians mm. who are dying on both sides of the fence, yeah. and the party goers in Israel, mm-hmm. before they're Israelis, before they're Palestinians, they're, they're human. Yeah. Mm. And I hate, the fact, I hate the fact that everyone has taken the humanity out of this yeah. conflict. Yeah. It's like guys are fighting in Ukraine and I don't want... Um, I don't want Russians to kill Ukrainians or the other way Ukrainians around. or their way around. You know, it's a conflict, but there's humanity. Yeah. Yeah. I hate the fact that humanity has been removed from this. It's them and them, them and them. Sides, like, yeah. like, like, you see, you know? for me, how I look at it is, I've been, I've been seeing like, um, you saw, um, what's, what's our guy with a cup? Who's that? The guy who was in Canada for the longest. Oh, um, Muguna. Muguna. Mm. So Barack posts a message about Israel, and he's like, "Yo, he, he supported." He said outrightly, 
yo, what's happening to Israel is not right, what, what, what. But he says at the at the bottom, he's like, you know, but still that said, I would like for Palestine, Israel to all come to the table right, and discuss right. what, what, what. Miguna's like, bro, I should have unfollowed you years ago because how can you say that? That's what he said, yeah? You get, yeah. So, and guys were like going you back know, and forth. Mm. But my thing is this, I feel like this whole situation's a bit... Um, and this is where I feel the planet, we, 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 we there's first class citizens, second class citizens, outrightly. The UN is out here sending troops to like this and that country. Mm. Uh, America went to war in Afghanistan in what and what mm. and what. You get, and they're all outrightly because you harmed us, yeah, you bombed away, yeah. us yeah. and everything, right? And here we have a whole situation where that has been unfolding for so bloody long. 75 plus years. Bro, like even the, even the British had to exit. Mm. When And the British have got a, 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 most, lot to say. a majority of the reason why mm. this situation is the way yeah. it is. Yeah. I mean, the historical two-state situation and solution, it's, it's deep, right? But here's the thing. Like I said, one thing is taking humanity out of it. Because, you know, for example... Palestine has been blockaded. Gaza has been blockaded for, for, for years, mm. literally with Israel and I think Egypt as well, just preventing supplies and just yeah. a general day of Fun. life. So the economy has gone to pieces, right? But also, <laughs> my thing is this, and I use Trevor Noah's analogy, it's like big brother, small brother. Mm. Stronger person, weaker person. It's like, let's say, you know, uh, a, a 10-year-old child mm. comes and pinches me, uh, pinches me hard or kicks me, right? He's he's wrong, mm. but if I'm the bigger brother or I'm the bigger person, I can snap him into pieces. Yeah. Mm. I can beat him seriously because mm. I'm in my you know I'm a big man. He's a little mm. boy. Mm. He's wrong, mm. but if I turn around and beat the hell out of him, mm. I'm aren't I wrong too? Yeah, that actually yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? The thing about it, it's like it's like I'm not trivializing. The, the life loss or yeah. the whole situation. Yeah. But <clears throat> Israel, if they wanted to tomorrow, can flatten um, hundred Gaza mm -hmm. and Palestine mm -hmm. if they wanted to. Yeah. You know so, what? You know? So it, it's know. interesting. Like, uh, I've spent a lot of time. There's actually even a movie I've been told to watch about it, right? And there's a new documentary about spies on uh, Netflix. Mm. The, it was like on the top new releases maybe about three weeks ago <clears throat> and he talks about the munich olympics mm -hmm. of 1972 okay you remember when the when the was it was it the palestine there, or there was a boycott or something no mm, when the, the guys who were the israeli athletes mm. who were killed oh really remember when they when they invaded the olympic the village mm, and okay. then uh they catch this whole plan because these guys were like, hey, we want to uh, mm. leave the uh, leave through the airport. Right. And when they were at the airport, uh, Israel had, had said, let's send our mm. soldiers to intervene. Okay. And the Germans said no. So the Germans, uh, when the, 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 the kidnappers were at the airport, a whole gunfire okay. thing. And all the Israeli plus the terrorists, they all died, right? So Israel, mm. uh, after that whole situation tracked down everyone who was involved in the planning of all of that mm. for over a span of 25 years in different countries, taking them mm. out slowly. Mm. Very interesting documentary. Mm. When you Munich, actually, the, I'm just Googling the Munich, the Munich massacre. Yeah, Munich I'm massacre. I'm going to read it after. Mm. So when you check out this whole situation, it's, you see it's that... It's going on for a long bro, and time, this man. Is, this is now... This is what? This is 72 when we're talking about it. Yeah. There's the... Was it the 60-day war? Yeah, there's mm. all of that yeah. stuff, yeah. There's, bro, stuff from... Uh, 2000 years ago mm. it's deep yeah it's deep it's like, a lot it's a lot now yeah. um wow that's that's pretty deep that's why i love this pod and i want to go from that to something completely <laughs> ridiculous i want to talk about male prostitution <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, the switch up. Yeah, the, the switch up. Like Andy's not here. You know, Andy yeah. would be like, Andy, Andy would be like, wait. Uh, no, no, no. Andy would what, be like, what, what, this is exactly how Andy would have gone out. It goes, he, would, Andy would have been sitting here bored about the conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. with Israel, and then he would have been like, so guys, that's a really deep conversation. But I want to bring this back to something <laughs> yeah. that I saw on on on, on TikTok. Uh -huh. So there's a video. It's not blatantly male prostitution, but take a look at this. 
you are a grown man with a functioning tongue, there is zero excuse for you to be broke. You get the f up, you go down to your nearest retirement home, the nearest brunch spot, and you start applying pressure. There are millions of women over the age of 40 bringing in six figures. There is no reason why you're not getting the cut of that. Go ahead, hit the gym. Build up the stamina and vitality that she's been wanting from her husband for the last 20 years. I have f***ed my way into a roof over my head. I have f***ed a fully financed car in my driveway. But most importantly, I have eaten my... I have eaten my way not only to financial security, but also prosperity. The only person holding you back from living the life that you absolutely deserve is you. The excuses stop now. Go ahead, buy a hoodie. They toxic. Boom. So that guy is basically saying, if you're a young, fit man, why don't you have money? He says that there are many women out there in their 40s, <laughs> Earl and late thirties, yeah. high society climbers and drivers. A lot of them are single. Go out there and get money. What is it? Apply pressure. Yeah, apply money. pressure. <laughs> apply pressure. Yeah. Mm. So basically, tantamount saying, and, and then you see, everybody who I sent a video to, initially they were like, "Yeah, what nonsense is this?" Da, 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 da. But when you think about it, is there anything wrong with what you're saying? No. No. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact. Some of us are in that stage so that it's not yet bad to Jafika to it happen, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean like if there's anyone out there, big shout out to all the fine um older rich women. Um <laughs> in, advance. in advance, yeah. So in case you can shoot, shoot. No but and Biggie, uh, we can just talk to Welewane. We know maybe it can be a part time job, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm, something. I'm saying and I'm yeah. and I'm Serious, like I, I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought to myself, like we always talk about, like how the fact that there are women who can get through the vast majority of their life mm. without lifting a finger. Yeah, maybe that is pretty priv privilege or whatever, whatever. I know in that clip, the guy was like, "Go to the gym, get your reps up, look after yourself." Right, <clears throat> fam. What would be wrong? And I'm I'm going somewhere with this. Yeah, if I Turn myself into an Adonis. I'm in my 20, late 20s. Mm. I'm desirable. What is wrong with, like, just servicing oh, the frustrated <laughs> women <laughs> of a city? <laughs> let me, let, no, what is wrong with it? Think about it. Because, you know, here's the thing, right? For a fee. For a fee. Here's the thing. There's a guy we had on the show last week. He's a monsieur. monsieur. Mm. There are women in this city who pay mm. that guy three, four hundred dollars a day. To accompany them to Nairobi, they're going, they're going to coast. Yeah, coast Maybe they have like a conference or whatever. Three hundred dollars mm -hmm. a day, and he just massages them. He's the one that plays with your girl's ass and yeah. all that stuff, right? I'm in the wrong career. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm trying to. I'm, he's he's providing a service. Mm. Now my thing is, is at the end so of the day, I don't. You just said he's massaging them. Is he fucking them? I don't know. He says that he, part he, he, he wouldn't go into it, right? <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. So so he's just making all of these steaks and not eating them. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, bro, if you see the video on his IG page, he's yeah. kissing the some ones ass. who like really yeah, get yeah, yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, kissing I'd, the ass. I'd go for one of those. But, <laughs> this, but this is what I'm saying to you. Like, <laughs> end of the day, it's like tax free. It sounds like tax free. Tax -free. My nigga, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so but the, you know, if you want four hundred dollar <laughs> a day, a Ruto, day. Ruto's gather would be like. Hey, 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 hey. Come okay, here, come here. Even, even my physio, mm. even my, I went to my physio <coughs> last week and even this week, and now he has a new till number and the till number, the money goes to like a company. He's like, yo, the way the government is now, mm. I can't even have you send this money to mm. me the way you used to. Mm. It has to go through the company, blah, 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 which mm. is our, mm. pay your taxes, whatever. But I'm trying to say like, and I'm not just being devil's advocate. I'm just saying, what, is there anything wrong with what that guy is saying? Apply pressure. Not at all. Like, okay, but I'm looking at it like the, from this point of view. Like when women do it, it's like a whole, you know. Mm. I it's, told it's, you she is a whole. Yeah, like it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's uh, everybody's up in arms. Oh my God, she's got a sugar will. daddy. Mm. You know, nice. eh, like mm. relax. Let everybody make their bag, you know. So men and women, do your thing, you know. Like, get and get I, your, get and your sugar think, daddy and your sugar it. mommy. And I think about it also. <laughs> think about it this way. Also from the perspective of, you know, they always say that men 
can sleep with women without connecting emotionally. Mm. Dial a dick. <laughs> like, <laughs> we've said it before in this podcast, yeah. like, dial a dick. Dial like, uh. think about it, right? <laughs> I guarantee you, and I, it sounds crazy, and I, I know that there's the people watching this podcast saying, this sounds very unlike G. Mm. But when I watched that video, I was like, what is he doing wrong? Yeah. What is he? Is is there anything wrong with what he's no. doing? And I couldn't see it. Um, he he was funny as well though. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that gym, bro. <laughs> Blood pressure. You know, here's the thing, bro. I feel like we get so um, <clears throat> we get so give so many comments about the wrong things. Mm. You know what I mean? That's not the. So so that that's a guy who's doing whatever he's doing. Yeah. Mm. It's a whole industry, you know, sex, yeah, there's yeah, rubbers and everything and all of these different kind of things. Sex mm. toys, a whole uh-huh. industry built upon it. Right? These guys were running guns. These guys were smuggling. Mm. Uh-huh. Right? But guys who are running guns, you guys will be more like, oh man, okay, it's a bit of a safe business. But those guns are killing people. Yeah. Right. You get what I mean? Right. I feel like on the planet right now, I'd rather fix those kind of things the you guns. know child um trafficking yeah those kind of things this other shit bro no but you know but, there's hence why i'm saying there's actually nothing wrong because okay, okay. It, it, the world is so fucking busted right mm. right there's nothing that you are going to say on this podcast that's going to change another 10 men from doing mm. exactly what that guy is doing mm. and by the way you know guys are not the most creative mm. Mm. they'll probably just reinvent something along that mm. That would, I be, know. that would be good business, especially I'm looking at it now from a point of um, being an entrepreneur. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Bro, Sijui, if you guys know about uh, Red Light District yeah. in Holland, so, yeah. uh, how everything goes. Mm. Bro, now imagine to like having a store. You have like glasses <laughs> and then at night, like this teeny busy night and I will see mm. you know. So kill I'm trying to get shift. A guy goes there naked. So you choose. No. Showcase. Kasi tuwa is five. <laughs> Unachagua one person <laughs> unachaka nini. Yeah. Big business. Usia kitoka in case it's busy, there's someone else who can come in. Oh, you, you know, know, like, it can be big business. Then and I you know, drive through hey, and everything. There's so many men who don't have jobs out here. That would be good business. The, Nairo- do the Nairobi Red Light District. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you see, the first time, did you go, have you not been to um, Amsterdam? Mm. The first time I went to the Red Light District in Holland, I was so underwhelmed. Mm. Oh, I had that mm. so goddamn. Huh? I heard you said saw. <laughs> I was <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was like, no, what? Like you got busy. Huh? <laughs> you know, because you know, growing up, when you hear about the red light district, yeah, yeah, yeah. I expected it to be so wild. Yeah. yeah. Like wild, wild. Like how it is in my head right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But then, it, like, as he said, it's actually <laughs> literally <laughs> women in these glass doors. Uh. And they have maybe like on a, like a, you know, a very lingerie yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff. <laughs> And like niggas just come and be like, nah, 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 nah. Mm. walk in, the curtains are drawn, mm. and it's just like, and it's, yep. it's so managed. So much mm. underwhelming about it, really. I thought it'd just be wild, it's like. The theater, of, you know. All right, all right, put this way. All right, no, no, let me tell you. Uh, it, look at it this way. Uh, when you go to Westlands, mm. right, <laughs> and you ha- go to the Border Border stage, mm. no, Border stage, the, um, <laughs> the Madatu stage, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a competition yeah. for guys to fill their matatus. Like, yes. Beba, beba, beba. In fact, <laughs> their condas will actually force you. Bro, bring you. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I thought it would be why, like, uh. someone skinning out to say, yeah, uh. like, Steph Rondon, my pum pum, my uh. really sting, like. <laughs> I thought it would be uh. why. But you know, but you know what's but actually crazy. But it's so crazy. tasteful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but, but where you where Holland is, uh, hmm. Holland is, uh, is, is, but I'm going, I'm going to Bangkok. Oh, when? April. Okay. It's the best time. To Bangkok? I'm going to Brazil. Even, even Asian, they oh. like to Bangkok. You go to Rio. I want to go to Rio. Yeah. So, because one of the things I want to do is, um, so if you're, if you're into like good health and mm. all of that, mm. so you know India and uh, Thailand, Thailand, they have very good... Um, mm. Holistic. Holistic and mm. they can do like a lot of tests. So I know someone who went for like a whole really nice body test. Mm-hmm. They've done mm. it at 35, at 40, 
28, all of mm-hmm. those. It's like five hundred dollars. Whole mm. test. Yeah. Nairobi Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mm. probably have to leave your arm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So but once you do that whole medical tourism, then you hit the streets like woo, woo. they good. even have a a, 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 a festival mm. where they're like, you know, shooting each mm. other with mm. like toy guns mm. and everything, but Uko. And I swear to you, G can even confirm this. If there's one destination where white British men love to go to, mm. Thailand. Anywhere you see white British men flocking to their sex there or drugs. Mad. Of course, I also want to be in Thailand. So yeah. Thailand. Yeah. I, I, I want to go to Thailand. I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to Thailand. Definitely. No, I want to go to Thailand. <laughs> and obviously, I know that we're speaking from positions of privilege yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to go to Brazil. Mm. So that's what I'm saving for at the moment. And by the way, I don't know about anybody else, but... Me, when I go on vacation, I have to save for it. Mm. So the moment I'm mm. saving for Brazil. Yeah. Because I really want to go to... Do you remember Changi, um Kato, the, the guitarist? Changi. Oh, you know, Kato. He's in, yeah. You know he's in Brazil? He mm. relocated. Killing it out. He's playing with his Latin Award Grammy winning band yeah. out there. Oh. So I was talking to him last what? week. Oh, that's fire, You still man. have his number? I well from maybe five from years ago. Days, yeah, 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 yeah. Shagun out to Kato, man. That's hey, he's dope. such a dope yeah. guitarist, like, man. Like, like I think, I think mm. one of those, um, you know, this some of these places you get to like experience so many different. Like the other day, bro, back to this dinner I was at. This guy was telling me about how he married a Chinese chick, mm. right? Because he's Kenyan. He, no, no, no. He's Australian. Uh huh. White. White. Uh-huh. Right. So he was. He lived in China for 20 years. So there's this town in China. You know, t- China's population is mad, right? Mm. Yeah. The, this particular city he used to live in, the ratio of women was like 17 to 4. Oh, wow. God damn. It's bare babes like this. Mm. Like even in the club, mm. you don't need to like... <laughs> babes are hardline at you continuously. Mm. You're mm. a catch. You're a <laughs> like, catch. You are the prize. You're the Literally. prize. Mm. Fam, like, I was just like, what's the name of that city again? Mm. <laughs> I'll remember and tell you guys. But he was like, uh, he was like, fam, you go to some of these places in China and... Uh, like it's so crazy mm. how the m- women want the men. Mm. But one thing he also mentioned, which I happen to not know, if you've been with a Chinese lady, you could tell me. But he said the Chinese women have crazy uh, libido. They want you on and on and mm. on. Yeah. You know that classic Vietnam thingy from mm. that movie? Me so honey. That's not Vietnam. It was fuck- Vietnam. <laughs> the fucking movie when they took the sample. I only know it from I only know it from Two Life Crew. <laughs> no, what was yeah. that movie when they went to was it You're full, probably right. You're full probably metal right. jacket? Mm. That's where the original sample me so for honey. Me So Honey. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it, wow. It's a starting scene. That Me So Honey. That was mm. Vietnam. But now, different country, China. Mm. He said that to me. He's like, yo, they can fuck. Mm. I was like, God <laughs> damn. That's interesting. You know but then I, again, uh, it makes sense. Mm. Check out the population. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know, when, I, when I was young, I used to have this kind of not young, young, like five, four or five years ago, I saw this kind of fetish for Chinese women. Mm. Mm. Like I could watch these Chinese movies, the Action Night, Kinanini, the ones that, if you know them, mm. bro, the, the sex scenes were like five seconds. <laughs> but I was like, wow, 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 wow. This is it. Rewind. <laughs> this is it. And then you go to that site, Incognito Nininini. Chinese, just to see. Yeah. You know, Chinese no, no. porn is all that. Bruh. It's really fire. Yo, you have what? to even rest. Really? Hey. Chinese porn, bro. Is it they're actually the actually Chinese women who are like like your wildest dream woman. Uh. Now a Chinese one. Fam, you know that's Small crazy, bro. I think nene. we just you know the embassy is not round, too far. Round yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah, but you know what's actually crazy? Like uh. you know how in uh, North Korea I'm going to Google Chinese you know, porn. N- you know how in North Korea and Russia, they show like the mm. big, when they have the military parades uh-huh. and they show like the big bombs on top of yeah, like yeah, uh, the, the, trucks. the trucks. I'm best believe when I land China, it's, that's the parade, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like in Russia, I remember when if you watch Russia. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> stupid guys. <laughs> I'm like, I'm here, motherfuckers. Whatever, man. <laughs> you in Russia? In Russia, there's this point when I don't know if it's Jackie Chan. 
who was taken by uh, Mushu. Yeah, no, like now there's a place that they went. The was, doors open. The doors open. And mm. the players were there. Yeah, bro, that you only my wireless stream. He was like, we need some Mushu. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. How have you never watched Thingy for the culture, bro? Come What's on that? now. Russia. Russia. I've watched Russia, but one or two. I don't have I've watched open, I don't have that collection. Oh of, my god. Mm. Like memory like, like that. Like there's I a, watched a, something last week, I don't remember it. There's a movie on Prime on Prime Video, which is um, it's actually yeah like this ninja people mm. and it's just full of like sex scenes like from start to end it's just like three mm. hours of sex scenes just look for it it's What's fully the name? What's the I name? don't remember the name I'd have to rem- so as you, as you have to remember you can't leave us like that literally just google like mm. um, you know it's ninja, crazy. ninja ninja movie with <laughs> porn or ninja like, porn. Wow. You, know, you, know, you know who's going from one, start you know? to bottom Here's the craziest thing. Guys who have a bit of a hard job in life, mm. and I don't say that. The guys who have to edit sex scenes out of uh, plain movies. Bro. Yeah. Like, imagine you're just there watching. Yeah, but it's simulated, isn't it? Like, it's not real. Huh? It's not real. Like, bro, what movies are you watching? Like, if, if you're about movies or porn movies. No, movies, movies. The like, sex- if you're on the plane and you're watching, like... What are these black movies yeah, from I back get in it. the day? I get it, but those sex scenes are not like they're real sex scenes, are they? Yeah, but imagine saying, what is your J- JD? How many sex scenes have you edited out from movies? This <laughs> I always say the guys who edit porn videos have the hardest job, bro. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> no, those guys probably don't have no Very machine. Very hard job. Bro, like, like imagine. <laughs> how, you know, how, imagine trying to, you're a babe, trying to turn actually, on a guy who edits porn. Actually, yeah. he's seen everything. He's what seen exactly? Everything. I really, I, I agree with you. Because have you ever seen like low budget porn where you can see the camera person Yay. in the mirror or something? Yeah. 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 The director <laughs> at the back taking tea and they were like, bro, why are you eating in that room, man? Like, when I'm saying, I'm pure uko. Like, what's I'm, happening here? Yeah. Do those guys, could they ever fall in love? What, porn stars? I don't like think so. Like who directors? No, 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 directors even. Uh. And like producers and directors of yeah. porn, probably how they're probably the most in love people because they know how fake that shit is. That's oh. a good question. <laughs> like falling in love outside of the porn industry. Yeah, I mean they could, but the sex they watch every day could never beat what they do in the house. Don't you think they sort get exhausted I'm, with it? I think they're so mentally fucked. To be mm, honest. Yeah, mm. exactly. It's like how guys are talking about Drake, and and you know, G wrote a whole uh, composition about Drake the other day. <laughs> Who I did <laughs> composition? Yeah, about Drake. On Monday morning. <laughs> Me, five twelve a.m. Wow, <laughs> me. <laughs> this guy's even five have the time in time down. Five a.m. <laughs> <Five a. laughs> in Kilimanjaro. <laughs> what? I wrote about Drake. Yeah, what did bro. I say? <laughs> he, he Drake. That's what I'm saying. Thirty-seven year old. Joe. Yo, Drake. Joe that wasn't me. That was Joe Biden. Like fucking attack. That whole thirty-seven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't recall writing anything about Drake. You wrote that shit. I, re- I replied and said, well done. <laughs> she well done. Oh, in the group. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. no, Oh, that's no, when he no. was talking about how Joe was right for calling. Um, no, but I was like, I'm never sharing with you guys. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I no, understand where no, you're coming no, from. No, no. They're haters. No, wait a minute. <laughs> what time was did I write it? Five in the morning. Yeah. I write something in the group at 5.09 a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. in the yep, morning yep, yep. about a new come on the podcast and, and dismiss it. <laughs> like that Drake shit. No, like that Drake composition. <laughs> bro, nobody even responded, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well done. Fuck! Because, yo, me, I was like, yo, like that 37 year old, I felt a bit attacked. I was like, well, you know where. <laughs> hey, well, okay. I, I hate like, you guys. <laughs> Yo, no, I'm upset. You know the craziest thing was this. Me and this guy Sunday morning were like, yo, that Drake shit, that verse from Drake, mm. when he wrote those dirty Jens jeans, Drake took it in so each, personally. In each jeans. Yeah, yeah. In yo. Each, but, so how? No. Seven, you seven. and I spoke about that, yeah. right? And we were like, But how are you laughing at my Drake 509 conversation? Bro, because we spoke about it and we were like, okay, cool. Now I knew we were going to dissect it on the podcast. Mm. You've changed. <laughs> I knew we were going to. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Why do you think? You're, what do you you're, think? You're really what do you, think? what do you think Andy's not here? Andy was like, fam, I ain't going on that pod. They're going to trash drink. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, don't you miss conversations about music? I do. Don't I you love me? it. I love it. <laughs> don't you miss me? Bro, it's that is why I'm Don't you miss me? Okay, yes, I miss you. Right? <laughs> right? But I was just like, you know, it's been such a confusing weekend, right? Bro, I went on um, when 
And funny enough, I was up very early that Monday, right? I went on... Um, Not early enough to respond. I responded and said, <laughs> well done. Wow, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to come back. I write a whole analysis about Drake's album. I and you say, well done. It was my no, composition. It's because. <laughs> Dante out of 40, well no, done. No, like, see you. I'm just walking up as a bunch of Can I speak to the camera? Is there anybody out there who has a music WhatsApp group, like the Breaking Heart guys or something, that they talk about music? Because obviously, the, the people I'm around. Do not appreciate I a message of the 509 bus. about Drake. Don't even forget, a couple of weeks ago, we really did a very good episode about hip-hop at 50. Yeah. You can go back there, right? Yeah, that was yeah. a good episode. So it was a like, good episode. Yeah. But you see... It's, it was fi- it's the, the 509 No, fam. It's the 509 AM. 509 AM. You'd, you'd have dropped that 1 PM. Mm. Guys would have been, oh, thank God. But anyway, I feel your pain. But also... Here's I'm the thing. I'm, I'm actually hurt. You'd actually forgotten the body. Shit, I shouldn't have said that composition. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? So I, I spent some time when um, Joe Budden posted the photo of him in the pool. Mm. The comments. Guys are just like, fuck Drake, this, that, what, what, what. All of that, mm. you know. So, so, so to give some context, Joe Budden analyzed Drake's album and said yeah. that he thinks it's very kiddie and he needs to grow up and do like some adult hip hop. Drake responded saying that you're a failed rapper, mm. you quit, you this, that, that you only fly first class on special occasions. Okay. <laughs> Your club shows only had 400 people wearing Inite jeans. Mm. <laughs> so then, and then, but I liked, I liked, um, Joe's response is like, okay, it's, it's cool. You know what? I'm not arguing with you, man. Time has a great way of I'm sorting out yeah. these conversations. Yep. Mm. So, so I listened to the album s- Friday night. Mm. After a couple of beers, I liked it. Mm. Saturday morning, <laughs> sober. Sober, I was mm. like, hmm. Calm. Mm. Monday. Then, then, no, no, no. Then I was like, I need to listen to it. Monday, mm. so I can play a couple of jumps on mm. the show. Then Sunday, brrr, the, the noise. I'm just like, okay, what the fuck is going on? So now mm. I'm going back to listen, right? Like um, the shooter jam with he and J. Cole. Mm. Then I'm listening to the skits with the chicks talking about uh, we didn't even get to fly fast <coughs> class and we're eating uh, jerk chicken, uh-huh. what, what, what. And I'm like, okay, I see what these people are saying. It's the mm. same shit. Mm. You get. Then now in that same context, I'm listening to like a J. Cole album in my head. And I'm like, and then I feel like, honestly, I think let Drake be Drake. Yeah, evidently, let yeah. Drake be Drake. Because here's the thing. If, you, if we were to argue about it like this, J. Cole was outed about being married. Mm. Uh-huh. We never knew about that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Right? And J. Cole has been on that same lane of, you know, when when it says first time I ever had sex. Yeah, but that was like that. 15 years ago, yes. 10 years ago. Yes, but J. Cole has been that guy. Mm. Right? He's stuck to that lane. Kendrick, because, I mean, on the song, they say the, the three kings right now. Uh-huh. Kendrick, Drake, and uh, J. Cole. Uh-huh. Kendrick has his own lane. He's a... Uh, you know what they do semi-conscious all of that right Smith, drake that. drake is that guy you can tell all he ever needed was to get money and terrorize the fuck out of y'all 100 <laughs> percent. and if mm. you go back to hip-hop in so many generations you can see a drake right i it, mm, mm, that's an interest in every generation you can see a drake yep when you mm. go back to that whole class of hove mm. nas but i think also it's, it works both ways because nobody need knew that we needed a grown man album from Jay-Z until he dropped mm. 444. Yeah. You get me? And it's the same thing like, it's like Nas. Nas is dropping the best work yeah. right of his career. Yeah. Apart from Elmatic and maybe a few other, he, like Nas' albums are pleasurable. So my thing is that if I want the deep, I can understand what Joe Budden is saying, right? But like you said, let Drake be Drake. Mm. If I want, right now, it's a beautiful time because I can go and get a new Nas album every six months, literally. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, it, like, you know, if I, you know, I, there's enough Nas albums out there for me to really enjoy Seasons. myself, hip hop wise. And if you look, I always maintain um, someone like J. Cole. You see that song he has with Lil Yachty? Mm. Lil, Lil, Lil somebody. Lil Yachty. Oh, 
of my life. Lil Durk. Lil Durk. Yeah. 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 Mm. I hate that song. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 hate, I hate that song because I feel that, like, I'm tired of hearing songs where guys talk about haters. Yeah. And most of these niggas don't actually really have haters. He's like, yo, the man's trying to get me. Which motherfucker? Be specific. Who <laughs> is? <laughs> Be specific. Be specific. That's the one, bro. You know, like, fucking... Yeah. Like even, yeah. even, like, Kenyan artists. Mm. Yeah. Who, like, who's chasing you? Bro. Yeah. Like, I'm your ass. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, like, I didn't say that. Bleep that shit. Everybody... Bleep that shit. Everybody has, like, I have these imaginary haters. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't but it's because I think in culture, if you got haters, then you've made it, right? So they have to put up the facade that they do but have bro, haters. you got people who have got solid jobs working in nice lives, who come from two-parent households, who have got <laughs> their first degree. Paying their taxes. Talking about fucking haters, yeah. man. Yeah. Fuck you out you know what they should do? Because I remember Octopizo was saying how Breeder, you know Breeder, the artist, man? Yeah. Mm-hmm was talking smack about him. Mm. You know what he did? Mm. He didn't go online to say shit. Octo mm. pulled up. Pulled up, bro. Yeah, yeah. but his house. Octo Octo went really? to his house, yeah. Uh-huh. Yo. Knocked with his Jeshi from Kibera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Knocked yeah. on his house. <laughs> Some so woman up? opened. Mm. And it's like, where? Ita wo fala. Then Brita came through. They took the guy from his house. Downstairs. Bro, they drove him until Kibera. Now he was in the middle. He was sitting there. Yeah. Two guards. Octo at the front. Shotgun. Now he's like, Buddha, nini ni bae. I'm not even your friend. Mm. You don't even mm. know me. I respect that. Yeah, and like me, I'm about it. Mina how can you lea vibaya uko. I come for you. They took the nigger with no phone, no nothing. So wait, no wait, wait. how did this story get out? Your other clip was there. There was a Out whole, this is like 2019 or some shit. Yeah. Mm. yeah, took the guy until Adams, all the way from Rongai, <laughs> left him there. <laughs> Then went. After talking to you through Kibera, I love it. Yeah. That I story love that. was no deep. nothing. Can haters bring me down? Has he ever mentioned him again in this song? <laughs> never, bro. It's <laughs> never. never. <laughs> you know what was That's crazy? Never. That's some <laughs> real shit. Yo, you gotta, you gotta watch the first bit of when now Breda was yeah. teasing, yeah. Yeah. bro. He was like Octo, like yeah. small boy kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, bro, but shout going out to Breda. Wait, he's like, he's wait, a wait, wait, wait. How did that miss me? Fam, he was big. When he was that, go look for. It. Okay, yeah. Breda B. Bro, Breda issued an apology immediately. Mm. <laughs> and our when, after apology. he walked yeah. back to Rongai. After he walked back from Adams <laughs> to Rongai. What the fuck? Bro, it's real <laughs> out here, bro. So you get <laughs> shit. Like, 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 you know, it's it's like it's like there've been some beefs in Kenya which just make mm. you laugh. Like I remember uh, the morning on the radio when uh, Timmy Blanco and uh, and and um, the, I know they yeah. pulled up twenties uh, twenty uh, Karin show. Uh, yeah. No. Bro, KFC or oh, Chicken Inn, Barack. Gong Road, Barack. Mm. Yo, I'm a Chicken Inn. You know how Barack <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> but like I maintain, like like you know, and shotgun out to um, Dega. Dega always says that you know the difference between I guess Nairobi and so many other cities, or mm. or now versus the old school is that in the old school days when you said something, it had mm. consequences. Mm-hmm. Now you just say anything about anyone online and then and go. guys you troll and mm. you, you just move on. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's like even us, there was a, um, there was somebody who pissed me off online um, a few months ago uh, over the Boys to Men show. And then he was doing a presentation at this thing last week. And then I'm like, first of all, I couldn't, I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah. Because I fucking, I'm so pissed off with you. You get me? Mm. So it's like, end of the day, it's like one of them ones where... This is how villains are made. Mm. Yeah. Because if I have my 4 4, <laughs> <laughs> shoot down the door, door. Did you, but, did you say hi to him? No. Really? But he mentioned no. G. He was Imagine. like, you know, there's some superstars here, like Jimani Habi Kiara. Jimani Habi Kiara. This guy's put the hoodie and teens. Bro, yo, <laughs> on his nose, bro. Me, I'm such a menace. That day I woke up, I texted G, like, yo, today's the day, nigga. You gotta go for that. <laughs> no, but the crazy thing is, I'm, I'm in this I'm in this thing. Then Man, I bro. saw G at the Spotify thing, I was like, this nigga really delayed his meeting so that he could go for this. No, <laughs> I was like, well played. No, so basically, the thing about it is, it's like, even during that presentation, I was getting messages from other presenters mm. uh, on the stage. They were like, wow, you are, your hoodie, you've got your, bro, I am my hoodie. My hoodie was <laughs> over my face like that with my cap on. Like, there's, and then, uh, she was like, how's, how's not the hoodie. Not the hoodie. <laughs> Have the presentations evolved though? 
Bro, I, was, I, I can't, bro, if I, if I don't like you, I can't listen to you, bro. There were, no, let me explain. There was a few things that he said that were interesting. Mm. Not, nothing that we, do, we didn't know, mm. but there were a few things that were in the presentation. Like, as much as I wanted to hate, I was like, oh, that's like interesting. Mm. But no, I'm, I'm about that life. If I, I'm about that life. Like, mm. you thought it was fun to diss a man on social media. Mm. A man pulls up and then handles that like that. I'm, I'm, I'm about that. Mm. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. I think that sometimes people say things and there's no consequence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm trying to say. Can I, I just say I've gotten so tired of social media, bro? You know, I on um on Twitter, actually it's an announcement. Mm. I'm actually rebranding my Twitter uh, handle into a sports channel. Is mm. it? Yeah, hundred percent sports. I'll still use it to stalk people and see what I got. <laughs> but <laughs> primarily, all, and if you've noticed on my handle, all I talk about these days is football. It's football, mm, true. Mm. I don't talk about, I have not got an opinion on nobody, nothing. I'm not following nobody. I don't want to know no trends. I'm just going to, I'm just going to use my social media handles to talk about football, basketball, cricket. Yo. This, I'm that, all, everything, dinner. everything, hundred percent. Like I've gotten to I a know, point. You know, you know, like, like, like. I'll tell you guys how tired I am of this shit. Is um, I got onto threads. I can tell you the countable number of times I've been on threads. Mm. Same. Mm. Same. You get. Uh, like I feel like, bro, life can't be TikTok, Instagram, threads, mm. Facebook, mm. what, what, what. I'm going to miss out on so much. Mm. It's a lot. Yeah. I think the it's, only thing I'm consistent with is like TikTok. And that's because it's almost like a source of news as well, you yeah. know, and information. Because I feel like there's so much fucking noise. Like I'm on TikTok. I'm on um, Twitter when I'm on the show. After that, mm. yeah. bro, I'm on, I'm, I'm on the ground, bro. For mm. real, I'm on the ground. Mm. And you know that shit is actually... I, like there's times I'd, I'd probably... Like when I went on holiday the other time, mm. I logged out of Twitter on Friday. Mm. I got back on Twitter the morning I was getting on radio. Mm. I didn't even watch the news about mm. Kenya. I wasn't, I was even on Instagram, I was only posting. I wasn't viewing no no one. Just don't mm. have notifications as well. It helps. Yeah. 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 Like my, I only have notifications on Snapchat. Bro, because that shit is a lot. Yeah. Like, it, it only uh, means mm. one thing. You're getting older, my brother. It, actually, no. Nazeka, bro. No, no, mm. no. It, it's not about getting older, bro. Mm. Like, I've actually gotten to a point of, bro, we're missing out on so much. Mm. I, ca I can't take that you're getting older <laughs> shit. We're missing out on so much that is mm. in the present. Uh. So much. And mm. fam, like, have you ever sat around like... um? Like a group of people who are from a generation that didn't have social media, mm. and they sit and actually talk and yeah. have stories. Mm. And guys, even they, they just pick up their phone to like receive a call. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, cool. Telling the wifey I'll be home, and they mm. put their phone back down, right? Mm. And here we in a generation where we're documenting every Everything. damn thing. And you like it could be say for instance the four of us. Mm. We didn't even have the most meaningful one-hour conversation straight. We were mm. all, we had got to document this. We got to take this picture. I mean, got to I mean, this. and you know, everyone's everyone's going through through their their various journeys and their various struggles. Yeah. So for me, like I'm str I'm struggling in the moment, and I'll say it because I recently I um I changed from legacy defending on <laughs> PS5 <laughs> to tactical defending. To tell them why. Tell them the origin. Tony Kips came to the house, he's playing some FIFA, so he's like, nah, geez, he's trying to school me how to use that. Because I'm old school, I'm using legacy. <laughs> this nigga's yeah. using legacy. And now, like, I'm spending the whole day, just, that's the biggest, and I'm blessed, the biggest problem I have in my life right now <laughs> is transitioning from, from legacy defending to tactical defending on FIFA, on FC24. Yeah. So life is good, I guess. <laughs> you know, you guys earlier on the, whenever so was, were talking about this shit about aliens. Aliens, yeah. There's one thing that I always just wanted to actually know and talk about. Do you think, like, alien coochie is better than <laughs> human coochie? Didn't you say this I a couple of weeks ago? ago? No, 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 years. We don't uh, know. Because think about it, all if I they're know aliens all and I they have, know. like, special features, it means, like, that coochie can even, you know... Yeah, like, like <laughs> can, you know, yeah. it has a, like those machines. We've seen those yeah, machines. I've seen that, those machines. Bro, <laughs> not the <laughs> fucking blender. Yeah. And they can like the flexible and shit. <laughs> All I know is this: the, the mm. far thought is that the uh. juices must be green. Mm. Oh, 
God, Calvin. <laughs> I like Did just uh, like, like uh, 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 sorry. Yeah. <laughs> vegan. This is vegan. My <laughs> car open. My name is Jimadi. Ashley. Like, have you ever seen a yellow thingy? Alien. Sir. Alien. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're only green, right? Or mm. we've been schooled to think that. They're not all green. Oh, maybe some of them are like green, green, right? Maybe. Maybe. Mm, green. Maybe. 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 maybe they are color we don't even know. Maybe aliens don't even have sex. Yeah. That's maybe nah. maybe they do. Ah, we must find it's, a way. No. <laughs> be like, what's this for? I'm well, sure. I'm, I'm going to sh- show you yeah, right now. I'm sure wow. they, you know, the come you to us I'm if you want to show you right it. now. There was, I just pictured you rubbing an alien's dick. Jesus oh, Christ. Fuck. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. The way he said, what is this? We're going to show you right now. What the fuck? Your hand gestures, bro. Uh, I don't know. Jesus. Listen, we'll have to do next week. Bye.